All right, y'all, welcome to another episode here on Restoration. My name is David. I go by Rev here on YouTube. On this channel, we like to take things that are dead and giving them life again. So the, the hashtag, if you will, of this channel is giving life to dead things. Most of those dead things are old Fords that have been sitting up in the woods or sitting in someone's yard, hadn't run, didn't have life for a long time, and we like to bring those things back to life. But those of you who have been a part of the channel probably know over the last couple of weeks, we have put out zero content. The reason of that is we had planned on, uh, we were taking a vacation and we were getting ready for that vacation the week before. Uh, so we didn't have a lot of uh, car content. And then we had Easter Sunday. I'm a full-time pastor and being a full-time pastor, Easter Sunday is a big deal. Had a great worship service. Uh, Easter Sunday after the service we came home we packed our camper and we took off to Tennessee uh, we went camping and had a, a decent time I started feeling where I wasn't feeling all that good couldn't sleep at night and uh, we came home early uh, went and got tested and I was positive for COVID uh, my son JC uh, was positive about three months ago on the channel you probably remember is that Nikki T tested positive I started feeling really bad had the same exact symptoms I made the assumption that I had COVID then and to be totally honest with you I do believe I did uh, I believe I have gotten two uh, strands or two sicknesses um, two days ago uh, my quarantine ended and today i'm hoping to get back to work so uh we get to see the ceremonial putting on the boots and uh getting back uh to work so i am so excited that today uh we're gonna have some fun hopefully making that 67 galaxy not only move but maybe even stop we'll see you in just a second So let me let you in on a secret of YouTube. When you hit that subscribe button, it is absolutely free to you. But it immensely blesses me. All right, y'all, here she is. To get ready for camping, I moved the old rig uh, from the place that we broke the camera, knocked the camera down, broke the stand, did all of that. So we're gonna try to move the car back and uh, get it back on the concrete so that now I could finally do the brakes. I got a little bit of time today. Uh, I think I have all the parts I need except the rear wheel cylinders. So we're gonna hope they're not froze up. We shall see, they probably are. Probably have to order those in, uh, but at least we can get 80, 90% of the job done today is the plan. So. Uh, Hopefully we can even make it stop today. All it needs is front brakes, right? All right, as we get here under the uh, the engine, this uh, sweet 289, we've cleaned some of it off. I actually uh, cleaned a little bit. This, uh, I found out something that the oil that we uh, put on the car, it attracts pollen. And the pollen has just stuck to it. Hopefully a good wash, another spray down, and it'll come back and look uh, good again. Um, but even on the engine where we put it on the engine it actually gives it a kind of a neat a neat look um, but we have our uh, two liter Mountain Dew bottle full of gas I just hooked up uh, the battery again so let's see if she'll crank uh, all right let's see one two two pumps old battery old battery's weak old battery's weak all right come on she's wanting to she's wanting to sort of cranked ah oh, man it's wanting to come on car Don't tell me the battery. Battery's gone. Doggone it. Be back in a minute. 
All right, I didn't do anything to the battery. I just actually poured a little bit of gas down the throat of the carburetor. Hopefully that gives it enough bang to uh, just go on and hurry up and fire off. Maybe crank and run and charge the battery. Let's see. Oh, she ran for a second. Got to charge a battery. All right, y'all, I can tell you, since uh, I've been sort of out of sorts for the last couple of weeks, I can say that my systems are not charged, of course. Uh, battery not charged up. I don't have a lot of energy. Um, so while the car sits here, I'm just going to go on and replace the master cylinder. I have a new master cylinder here. Uh, brakes best, uh, no brake select master cylinder, because that's what they had on the shelf and uh, we're gonna install that. Um, but one of the things that is really important, now a lot of times we use the Knuckle Buster, this is just Blaster Max uh, penetrating oil, is that you wanna make sure, a lot of times people think, well just spray the bolts. And when you spray the bolts, that's gonna make it easier to come off. Well that's good, but on these, this little rascal right here, and this little rascal right there is really, really important. These brake lines have been on forever, and you don't want to twist these old rusted brake lines up. So as I'm waiting for the battery to charge, I'm also uh, going to be playing around with these. And uh, hopefully, these are bigger, so hopefully I can get uh, both of these off and then take that off. And uh, should be able to install a master cylinder pretty easily. I don't know how well you can uh, see but I'm gonna be working over here. I um, think this is a half inch, so it's a half inch and I think five eighths. Normally I would use a line wrench, uh, but this has actually got a really big nut on it compared to the line. So I'm going to try it just with an open-ended wrench and go from there. Oh, that was easy. All right, so the half inch moved piece of cake and it's actually draining oil uh so that one's good all right this one's five eighths oh. all right so it's still turning the line but it broke loose so all right so the hard work here is done and yes i put oil in this um so that's good just letting it drain but i'm going to put the new one on uh now take these off Slap the new one on. All right, that's draining oil too. This brake fluid is going everywhere. Y'all, if you have had COVID and you get your hands dirty again, oh, it feels so good. Feels good to get your hands dirty. All right, so I think, what is that? Half inch maybe? No, maybe not. Maybe nine sixteenths. Nine sixteenths. So, so now, is it hooked to the pedal that it won't come out? Looks like it's hooked to the pedal on the inside. So uh, I'm gonna go get it off the pedal. Be back in a second. All right, y'all, it is unhooked off of the brake on the inside. Pulls right out just like that. All right, of course, here's the old master cylinder. Here's the new master cylinder. You gotta get the plunger, uh, have to install the plunger this way and uh, then go backwards so then put everything back on and before we hook up the brake lines we have to bleed the new cylinder so i'm going to get it installed when i get it installed i'll show you uh, bleeding it on the car i will not use the belly method all right one of the things that's always important is to make sure that your plunger length here is the same of course on old pudding over there I've had an issue with the power brakes not allowing the plunger because the power brake has an adjuster on this 
Uh, so that adjuster, I had it adjusted too far in, and it was not allowing the master cylinder to release. So it was holding pressure to the wheel cylinders and causing all four wheels to lock down. That's not good. So I'm going to make sure your plunger length is the same on this. It's pretty standard. So now I'm just going to uh, reinstall this. So now when I go inside and begin to pump the brake, you probably saw a little bubble there. The bubbles are going to start coming out of these cylinders. If you see down in here, those holes, there's going to be where the air is coming up. There's a rod going back and forth here, and the air that is down in there needs to be replaced with this fluid. So I'm going to lightly pump. You don't want to hit it once again with a lot of horsepower, because if you do, you're going to squirt it way up in the air. Of course, I'm going to go hit it real softly and uh, make sure it's going down. All right, can y'all see it? Let's see if we can get you. All right, that ain't too bad of an angle. Hopefully, I don't get old on y'all. <coughs> See all of those bubbles? That's all kind of air coming out of that. Get all the air out of the master cylinder is really important. Make sure you let the pedal come all the way up as well. All the way up, all the way down. I'm starting to feel some pedal, which is important. What I wanna do is to be moving fluid and not air. Fluid, of course, compresses harder than air. I'm getting a good, I'm getting a better pedal. Still getting some air out. You're gonna pedal all the way up until all I'm doing is pushing fluid. You see the fluid level drop. The fluid level has dropped because the fluid has gone down into that cylinder on the bottom side. I'm gonna fill it back up. Repeat the process until I get no bubbles whatsoever. Um, then we're good. All right, the battery is charged. ran for a second. It's almost like the carburetor has to fill itself full of gas before it run properly. And it's not there yet. it was it's not still may be idle a little too low maybe the engine's not warm enough yet but she's running she can't hardly tell it can you Oh, that's a smooth running engine. There she is. Old sweet running 289. I think my belts need to be tightened up a little bit. She's still got a little rock to her. Um, hopefully that'll work itself out. Um, I'm going to tie this up here. And uh, hopefully back her up. Last time it was an adventure, this time it'll probably be 
an adventure. y'all there's always issues with old Fords particularly with a carburetor I think I got it running good enough to back it right in here let's see if it'll work Now, let's get these beautiful wheel covers off, get the tire off. Let's get to working on these front brakes. All right, y'all, just want to let you know, if you've ever had COVID, you know it doesn't take much to wear you out when you're recovering from that. Um, I'm working a little bit. I'm working slow. I'm probably not going to get done in one day, which is embarrassing to me. Um, but I need uh, the rubber line. I'm not getting any juice uh, coming out of the wheel cylinder here. So I'm gonna go get a rubber line for both sides of the front. Uh, what else do I need? I need the old man. Boy, I need the old man. I need somebody in here to pump the brakes. Nikki T's working. And uh, I got a little bit of time. I probably got an hour left. So I think I'm gonna go go get some rubber lines and uh, I'll probably just go on and replace everything like was my original plan. Hey y'all. Had to get rubber lines. Uh, the rubber line on the driver's side was clogged. It wasn't allowing uh, fluid to go through. Got the rubber line, got this side installed. So I'm gonna install this tire that I'm sitting on, go back over to the other side, jack that side up, take that tire off. Then I'm gonna get Nikki T out here and Nikki T is going to uh, help me bleed the front brakes. I'm going to get that. So hopefully we can get front brakes in this video. I am wore out. COVID has kicked my butt. Um, I feel fine. I just don't have any energy whatsoever. So, um, 15 minute job uh, is taking me an hour. It seems like everything is just slow. Do y'all know um, uh, a type of drink that can be, excuse me, the type of drink that can be bitter and sweet? Reality. All right, y'all, that was probably not all that funny, but reality is COVID stinks. I'm happy to be doing this video. It's probably not going to be a, a great, awesome video where you're seeing us restore our, but hey, brakes are important. We need, uh, we need brakes and automobiles to make the car stop. Uh, so for me, this is one step further on this sweet beauty uh, to get her back on the road and uh, hopefully passing it along to somebody else who wants a really cool uh patinaed out 67 ford galaxy 500 so uh, if you're interested keep watching we're going to finish a few projects and we're going to let her ride so uh if you're interested let me know all right y'all here's the goats on the roof nope not goats on the roof that's uh partly what we did on vacation y'all this is the best uh covid babysitter anybody could ever ask for 
I felt pretty bad and she made me feel as good as possible. Uh, she's also the best uh, brake bleeder in the world. So I've got both front brakes done. It's a dual uh, master cylinder. So I'm gonna try to go in and bleed the front brakes. I probably will do the back brakes tomorrow just because I'm exhausted. And uh, so we're gonna get the bleeding on these brakes and hopefully we get the front brakes bled so that we've got some stopping power today. I know I've got to rebuild the carburetor again, or at least clean the carburetor out. And uh, so that's what we're going to get to right now. What do I got to do now? Put the tires back on and the back brakes. Yeah, got to do the back brakes. Uh, we'll get the back brakes. Should have brakes now. Should have actually where I can squall the tires now because just front brakes and no back brakes is actually pretty fun. <laughs> so uh, we may leave it that, that way until I rebuild the carburetor. And then we'll see if it'll turn a tire over with 289. You think it will? Just gonna add marks to the rest of the driveway. I had to do it in the dirt. <laughs> Don't cost any money to spend tires in the dirt, y'all. I'm gonna let y'all know something. All these fellas just going burning up that money. All I see is dollar signs. <laughs> woo, 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 just going out. Uh, we ain't got that funds. Putting his squall to tire too. Oh yeah. The cement. Just to bark it. I ain't turned them over to smoke them yet. <laughs> uh, it could though. So thank you, Nikki T. You got this done. You got any new dad jokes? Any corny dad jokes? Corny dad jokes. I don't know. My goodness. Nikki T is without a dad joke. I mean, Why how? Why was the king called a ruler? Why was the king called a ruler? Yeah, because he's only a foot tall. He's only a foot tall. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I'm going to get this tire on. Tell Nikki T goodbye. Deuces. Bye, y'all. All right, now day two. So what I'm going to do is finish the back brakes, clean out the carburetor, and hopefully drive the car around the yard. Hopefully it'll happen today. It never fails. When you think the job's going smooth and a little piece breaks off of your brake adjuster. <sighs> All right, y'all. I have been immensely blessed this was the easiest this car was the easiest to get all the hubs off of any of the old rigs that i've worked on of course this one was actually kept under a shed didn't get a lot of moisture and i guess because of that didn't get a lot of rust on the pads um so they came off easy i don't know if i've ever had that to happen before but if you've not when it does happen you're grateful so uh praise the lord for allowing that to take place so now i want to replace the pads replace the wheel cylinder on this last wheel and uh then i'll probably take the carburetor off do a quick clean on the carburetor put it back together and uh even though it has no water i might give her a little lap around the house what do you say oh y'all ever noticed it but uh old brake fluid smells like coconuts i mean if i like coconuts i'd be in trouble i'd be gnawing on my fingers about right now uh nikki t came out uh she gave the brakes some ooga doogas and wasn't getting any fluid to the back so it must have been a little temporary clog in the line so uh i got out sent her in the house a minute i gave it some horsepower gave it some real ooga doogas and boy I, I hit it one time when i hit it i felt the pedal kind of jump a little bit and i thought all right it's good got nikki t back out here we bled the back brakes front front brakes are bled back brake brakes are bled that's hard to say um so i'm going to take the carburetor off do a quick clean on the carburetor get the engine running again and uh probably drop some temporary water in the radiator my radiator is bad uh i think uh 67 staying is in the Kula, which is a youtuber fairly close to me he may have a, a radiator for this i may see if i can get this one cord y'all tell nikki t bye so uh so we're gonna get that done and uh hopefully drive it around the house see you in a minute and i'm using pudding's bed i'm gonna take this off inside of the bowl yesterday i took the bowl the top uh of the bowl off looked down in the bowl and there was some trash so I want to clean that out and do a few other things. Look at all of that. I mean, there's all, I mean, I don't know how did, what is that? Look at that stuff. How did that get in this carburetor? I don't have a clue, but I know whatever it is, it's got to come out. So uh, let's get to it. All right, y'all, this carburetor was cleaned out. What is that? 
I've never seen anything like that inside of the carburetor. It's all in the bottom. Look at that, all in the bottom of the carburetor. I know those jets are clogged. I know probably the um, power valve in the bottom is clogged. I'm sure, look at that. What the heavens causes that? I've never seen that in a carburetor that I've rebuilt. I don't know what could have caused that. It's gelatin-like, it's gummy. That's weird. Ugh. All right, y'all, this carburetor was rebuilt late one evening while me and Nikki T was trying to get the Galaxy to run for the first time. We got it to sort of spit off. We called it running, went back out, had all these kind of issues. The car has set for a long time, a long time, three, four weeks without running. Tried to crank it the other day and it sputtered and spit and finally, but not running good. Will not run good. Took the top of the carburetor off and this is all that I found. Look at all that stuff there. All that down in the carburetor. Now this carburetor was cleaned out. Now y'all remember that looks like sand. I think I know what it is. I think I know what's causing it. Let's see if I can get some sunlight on that. I think I know what all that is. Anybody got an idea? Um, put it in the comments down below. And uh, if you're the first one to guess it, now remember, remember what I use as a gas tank. Maybe that'll be a hint too much for you to think. I'm thinking that may be part of the issue. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. So I'm going to... Now that I have the uh, carburetor cleaned out, I uh, have filled up some new gas. I'm going to turn the engine over until we can get um, fuel to the carburetor. It's gonna take a little bit of time. All right, y'all, I got my sexy camera girl out here uh, in her friend Tarkington, Georgia Bulldog t-shirt, go dogs. Um, but I have cleaned the carburetor out. I think we've got the brakes all done and bled. I have cranked it up, make sure gas was getting to the carburetor. I filled the leaky radiator up with water and it's still got water running here. I think it's enough for me to test the brakes here and then if the brakes are good enough, I'm gonna to try to make a lap all the way around our house and make it back here. You think I can do it, Nikki T? We'll see. What, did I, what was my warning to you that I told you? Oh, don't stand in front. Don't, don't <laughs> stand in front. See, y'all don't no think worries. I ever have any safety measures. <laughs> that is the safety measure. Don't stand in front of the car. Better. She knows better. All right, y'all, let's give it a go. Already off to the side. Very quiet. Great. Stop there. Great. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Great light. Yes. Great light.
Old Wheezy has brakes. Woo! Old Wheezy can drive, y'all. Can you believe it? Let's get over here by the car. I actually wet it a little bit because you know it's not it's not for sale yet, but you're always supposed to wet a car before you sell it. Ain't that right, Nikki? Oh yeah. Don't worry. She's gonna be for sale one day. Oh look at her. She's got her got her for sale already. <laughs> All right, the brakes are still a little spongy, so I've got to uh, probably got to rebleed the brakes again. Probably had still had some air in the line. Uh, I've got to work on the gas tank, get right fuel delivery. Uh, check on the gas tank, see how good it is. I've got to redo uh, the, got to get a radiator for it. And I also have to check, I think I have a transmission leak or power steering leak. Both of them have power steering fluid. I've got to do that. But hey y'all, she uh, drives. She not only cranks and runs, but now she drives and stops. So uh, she's running y'all, do y'all hear that? She's quiet. She's a very quiet old four door. Y'all, I'm starting to like the old car, and I don't think Nikki T wants me to like Miss Wheezy as much as uh, as much as I do. Uh, but she's running, y'all, and I'm pleased. You got anything to say, Nikki T? All right, y'all. We love y'all. We appreciate you watching. I'm back from COVID, not 100%, but getting this old girl running and stopping is a blessing to me. It's good to get a new video out, and it's good to get this old girl running around the house. Next time, maybe we'll put her on the road. Deuces! May God bless. <laughs>